Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Nier Automata, and oh boy, I've, uh, I don't even know how to start. There was way too much real life excitement for me, for poor old me. Uh, a power outage, a, a, a short, not caused by me, but caused by my roommate's cat, that caused my PC and in fact everything in my room to suddenly shut down and I immediately suspected my PC power supply to suddenly have crept out on me or something like that, you know, and uh, I was in full-on panic mode until I finally, like half an hour later, figured out, wait, there is that one freaking power outlet in the next room for some weird reason that is in the same on the same circuit, and sure enough. Well, anyway, that's uh, obviously of, none, of no concern uh, or of no importance to you at all. Um, but I guess I had to get that off my chest. My god. Anyway, I um, in in-game news, I suppose. Uh, I have been doing some fishing, specifically some sewer fishing, also some fishing down in the in the gorge. Um, oops, wrong button. God. It also doesn't help that I played like a dozen different games over the last week, all with slightly different control schemes. So expect more of that. So yeah, this gorge here specifically, I. Uh, did some fishing there. Unfortunately, in the 20 minutes or so that I spent down there, I didn't catch anything new. However, I did catch something... well, catch. <laughs> I did, uh, well, catch a couple of new things down in the sewers. Also, there is a thing that I um, definitely will have to show off. Uh, in fact, I haven't really looked at it. I backed away before discovering anything too interesting. But uh, one of my commenters, uh, well, I mean, really the, the only commenter so far, um, has alerted me to the fact that I missed something in the sewers, which uh, I would never have suspected, because that's just such a small area. But uh, there is something I missed, and I'm, I will be uh, showing that in just a short while. Let's see here. First, though, let's check out these new things. Well, not super exciting. I did uh, catch two new types of junk, I guess. Tires... Uh, from a resistance vehicle, ships carrying cargo often sunk, so the seafloor is littered with many such android commodities. Well, uh, apparently also the sewers of the city, where it makes just about as much sense, I guess. Battery. Uh, used by the resistance, of course, many such, many such batteries mysteriously disappear after being discarded. It's believed that they are secretly being carried off by machine life forms. Interesting. And then I caught the, well, what I can only assume is the one special fish fishing thing. A special catch, I guess, is the word that I was looking for. Um, that you can get in uh, in the sewer area. But it's not listed here because it's not a fish. I mean, not a fish or junk. Although, well, I guess that last point is arguable because it is a weapon. Namely, probably a small sword? Yes, the iron pipe. A common iron pipe. I mean... Rusty iron pipe covered in the virtual and the vital fluids of machine life forms. Okay. Um, better than human sewage, I guess. Story? Dad, if you're cold, I can give you my hat. You're the best father in the world, after all. Aw. Hmm. We'll see if that how that story continues, because I'm pretty sure I can actually upgrade it. I didn't do it uh, off camera because I don't know. It's so exciting that I wanted to show it off, I, I suppose. Maybe. Yes, iron pipe. We have plenty of all the materials required. So that's now... Oh, we can actually level up, level it up one more time. Okay. Alright, and the next we'll take some large gears and machine arms. And one the, our one piece of molobite. Interesting. I could also upgrade this using up all my titanium alloy. Which I would also need for a couple of other weapons. Hmm. Oh, yeah, also, I never looked at this, did I? I got this for... Oh, yeah, for taking out the... Uh, the deserters, right? I think? Possibly. Uh, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, I don't have the materials. I'm missing one pearl, specifically. Hmm. I mean, I don't know. Should I upgrade this Ancient Overlord? It's not really a weapon that I feel like I really need to use, but... Um, I guess I might as well. Eventually, um, my plan is to upgrade everything to the max level, obviously, for, you know, the story purposes. So there's that. Come again. 
I will. Alright, uh, weapons. Um, well, I guess I might as well. Let's see, that has a... Yeah, it's primarily a... Oh, interesting. Wait. Never mind, not interesting. Um, right, it is a 4 light, light hit combo, 2 heavy hit. Uh, the Type 40 Lance actually has a 2 heavy hit combo. Making it the first... Uh, lance, well, the first two uh, out of our two lances that actually has some kind of heavy hit combo. So I'll equip it there, and the iron pipe goes there, and now we'll actually take a look at those. Nope, not these. Details, uh, critical plus adds a critical hit effect, that's right. Dad, if you're hungry, you can have my cookie. You're my favorite person in the world after all. My cookie, oh yeah, that's definitely... Dad, if you're scared, uh, I can sleep by your side. My closest friend in the world. Well, we'll have to see the, the final bit of this story to be absolutely sure. But from that picture and the part about the cookie specifically, I think that might be uh, alluding to the original Nier, where in the intro scene... Well, it might, sp might be specifically the uh, Xbox 360 version that I played. Um, because the main character and, and and the person that they're trying to save over the course of the game are different in the PS3 version as far as I know. But in the, in the uh, Xbox version, it was a father and his daughter. And they shared a cookie in the, in the intro sequence. So uh, that's likely uh, a reference to that. Anyway, uh, details. Right, no special abilities yet. Story. Hi guys, it's me, 42S, your favorite Yorha Squadron idol from North 12C, or 12C Defense HQ. I'm here with the latest hot scoops from the front line, so let's get out there and do our best, alright? Good. What? Go team! Right. That's uh, reminiscent of this, I think. Yeah, that also has a radio uh, announcer, and the same background image too. All right, okay. Um, now I took a look at that. Uh, in other news, I uh, experimented with a couple of pod programs, but I guess I should also do that on camera just to show them off in, for people who are who haven't played the game themselves and might be interested in just seeing those effects. Um, also, I switched, I, I tweaked my uh, chipsets a little bit, and I actually killed one, killed another one of those uh, flying wormy things in the in the uh, cave-in section of the of the ruins and got another auto heal wait where is it there another auto heal and i fused them together uh, increasing the the cost by exactly one so i'm now maxed out and i have an auto heal that heals for twice the amount 1.2 percent hp per second after not taking damage so that's neat i guess i don't think anything else really changed i made um set number three uh, I maxed out my my physical defense there, and this one is uh, all speed, just like before. So yeah, nothing nothing new there, I think. Unit data. Oh wow, we have lots of, of unit data here. Oh, father machine? Huh. Plays a role of father, although he leaves the job of caring for his children entirely up to the mother. Hmm. A machine life form that plays the role of mother. She reaches, uh, reached out to 2B and 9S after a fight with her child caused him to run away. A story which serves as proof that familial bonds exist among machines. Well, definitely among those forest machines. Coolant leaked from the mother's eyes when her missing child finally returned home. Despite the lack of network access causing disagreements among her family, she still spoke happily of the incredible joy to be found in understanding. Child machine. Child machine life form that fled home after a fight with its mother. Yes. Big sister machine. Uh, machine life form searching for her lost little sister. She ventured into the desert after overhearing her sibling complain about the poor condition of her parts. The story serves as proof that sisterhood exists among machines. Yes, and we have the very large little sister here. A little sister machine life form that got lost in the desert. According to Pascal, she's a good natured girl who cares deeply for her older sister. Filled with curiosity, she spent most of her trip home, bombarding 9S with uncountable questions. She returned home on her own after being escorted. To the desert's entrance. Yes. Enhanced machines. Covered in red and black paint, that's right. 
reverse giant goliath. Uh, okay. Small flyer. I think these, yeah, these obviously have all the same descriptions. I don't even remember seeing a red and black large flyer, or medium flyer, I guess. Wow, if this is medium... Huh, I'm looking forward to seeing the actual large flyers then. Androids. Ooh. Oh, right, we have been fighting androids for the first time. Man, that sucks. I really wish it hadn't come to this. Man, she's packed with weapons. Holy crap. That's like a total of uh, four katanas? A spear? That might be that spear that we have, although it's um, it has uh, some pretty cool-looking blue highlights there. Then a uh, very sick-looking two-handed sword that I wish I had. And two fist weapons or something? Huh. Pretty cool setup. Too bad it... Uh, well, I mean, I guess good thing it didn't help her in the end, because that would mean that we would have died instead. A Yoha deserter that used to be a captain. It had a deft command of multiple weapons, yep, and switched easily between them in combat. Ordered to be apprehended by a command for abandoning its post, it put up a fierce resistance before being destroyed. Rip. Actually, I should have done this to begin with. Yeah. 8B. Sorry it had to come to this, but, well, that's what it is. And 22B, or 22B, I think. I think they say the numbers individually. A Yorha deserter, ordered to be apprehended by command for abandoning its post. It put up a fierce resistance f before d being destroyed. Yep. And 64B. Amical machines. Romeo. Ah, of course. One of the machine lifeforms known as Romeo. After spewing a non-stop diatribe of abuse, he suddenly descended into murderous rampage. Just like Juliet. One of the machine lifeforms known as Juliet. After spewing, spewing a non-stop uh, diatribe of abuse, she suddenly descended into a murderous rampage. She managed to survive the bloodbath that took the lives of her fellow Romeos and Juliets, but killed herself soon thereafter due to grief over the loss, the loss of her beloved... or beloveds. Father Servo. High speed machine. Ugh. Screw that guy. A hasty machine lifeform that pa placed speed above all else. He challenged the party to a race, the winner of, e of which would be named a true speedster. Afterward, he finally awakened to a calm within himself as he discovered the ugliness of competing with others. Thus, satisfied with his life, he chose to end it on his own terms. And, oh, right, Father Servo. Uh, the, the guy who acted as. Uh, as a referee during the race, it's not uh, sp um, mentioned specifically, but I think that was just a, a generic forest machine, like a medium biped, waving a white flag. Reused asset right there. Okay, uh, tutorials, weapon stories. All right, we can look at this right here. Forgot about that. I uh, should have all the fish. Yeah, so I was actually looking for a non-machine arapaima, but they might actually be extinct. Or maybe I just got unlucky and didn't catch one down in the gorge. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about about the real Arapaima. But we have uh, caught um, real and machine versions of all the other fish, well, except for this special guy here. But there might be a, a beetlefish machine. I haven't spent any more time fishing in the desert after all, so... Also, I have not caught a, an actual bream, I think. So, there is still some blanks to fill in. Also, this... Uh, wow, I've spent almost 15 minutes just standing around and talking again. Good job, me. But I guess if you've been following this Let's Play up to this point, you're kind of used to that kind of thing. So, uh, what are we going to do today? Uh, more side quests. And... More exploration. Specifically, I'm going to take a look at that hidden section, kind of hidden section, in the sewer. Honestly, I'm not, I'm not quite sure if it's supposed to be hidden what is or this? if I Analysis. just didn't see it. It is a cave caused by the collapse of an open space underground. It's a, is there such a huge cavern? An interesting the decision to. Um, is he dead? Nope. No, just wanted to focus on the other one. That's fine. Um. It's an interesting decision that this uh, bit of dialogue keeps re-triggering. 
probably until we finally continue with the main quest, but still. You would think that once is enough, but I guess not. Right. Oops. Please drop down here, or slide down. I guess that works too. Okay. Now, there's one thing I'm not entirely sure about. We'll see. Yeah, there's the ladder. And, yeah, now the, now the map definitely shows that um, the tunnel continues here. I'm not sure if it did until I first stepped inside. Because, I mean, once you know it, it's obvious. And if you look at the minimap, it's painfully obvious. I just... Uh, I don't know. At, at a fleeting glance, it doesn't necessarily look like the path continues here. But, uh, well, obviously it does. And there is a ladder that leads to another exit. I climbed up here off camera, but I didn't uh, explore what's what's up here. So let's find out. Yeah, I only saw that it's a tiny kind of dimly lit um, grove here, and there is something shining in this tree. Oh, is that a weapon? That is indeed a weapon. Okay, Virtuous Dignity. Oh. Is that uh, the spear corresponding to my standard weaponry? Hmm. Seems like it, doesn't it? Uh, weapon. Spear. Virtuous Dignity. I guess so. Interesting that it has the, the weird uh, face on it. A white spear used by samurai of the East. Okay. Details. This pure white spear shines with the pride of the haughty samurai who once bore it. Also, what does it actually say here? Yorha Commander's guards wield this advanced spear. Its power increases as it charges with energy. Huh. Yeah, I think it's the same spear that the androids I fought have been using, but minus the the blue lights? Maybe that's maybe weapons change appearance slightly once they are fully upgraded. That would be cool. Or maybe it's an actually... Show, uh, shows those lights uh, while it's charging or something. Story. The elegant white spear was crafted by a tyrant as a gift for his wife, whose parents he had killed years earlier. She slipped it under the belt they shared, uh, the bed they shared, then later used it to run him through 30 times. Holy crap. Okay. What a fun little story. Can I give that a spin in a moment? Uh... Speaking of which, I wanted to show off those, um, some of those, uh, or probably all of those pop programs that I never did use on camera. Um, pretty much settled for the ones I want to use for the time being. Um, this one as, a, as my go-to because I just like the idea of, you know, I just like the concept of having the, this um, long-range uh, very long range, uh, very precise and, and piercing attack. That's just so useful in many situations. It's obviously not the best uh, damage-wise against... Well, it's not the best against large groups of smaller enemies, and it might not be the best against individual super strong enemies, but it's just useful to have. And then I uh, actually equipped the blade program to this one. Uh, I didn't realize that it was going to stay active for a while, but uh, as you can see, it lasts for quite some time. And this is actually some nice added damage. It hits for about 70 or so, although that might depend on the type of enemy, but 70 or so for those smaller machine life forms. So yeah, it's pretty neat. Um, the charged version actually adds a uh, second pod somehow. I don't know. not really sure how that works, but... I can only assume that it just hits twice as many times, so that's pretty neat. Don't want to hurt anyone accidentally, so I'll wait. So yeah, those are neat. Um, let's see here. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure you cannot change these on the fly, or can you? No. You can only switch between the pots that you have, but you cannot re-equip the pots themselves. Fair enough. Um, skills, pot programs, well, for testing purposes. Uh, we have seen this one. Um, hammer is pretty much what you would expect. Oh. I'll 
have to wait for the cooldown, unfortunately. Come on. It's taking so long. There. I'm gonna charge it for extra effect. Yeah, uh, the non charged version only adds that one hammer. Interestingly, I'm not sure why why it's only two, uh, with one being off to the side, you'd expect a third one. Maybe you get a third one when you have a third pod, because uh, I couldn't help but notice that uh, the, the second pod that we found is actually called pod C, not pod B, so there it seems pretty pretty likely that we're going to encounter a pod B at one point, and then we'll have to have three to switch between, and possibly that will power up all of our pod programs as well. But we'll see. Uh, hammer... Blade, yeah, that's, that one's pretty neat. Uh, spear, this one's cool. Um, I think the graphic there, the the picture is a little bit misleading because it does indeed uh, go forward, probably, presumably, um, targeting any enemy that you might have currently might be currently targeting. I'm gonna charge this one as well. Actually, it uh, displays where the spears are gonna appear on the ground and charged up. It will one across like this. I mean, it, it looks pretty neat. It doesn't look super powerful, but I don't know. I guess it, I ha I never used it in combat, but it seems a little bit too limited in its in its usage. I mean, I guess it also kind of pierces through enemies by virtue of uh, being active in a in a line, but it uh, obviously only will only affect uh, ground-based enemies, so it seems a little bit more limited. I didn't use any of these. The gravity one actually seems interesting. I can see myself using that one uh, on my third pot once I got it. Let's see here. Okay. And the, the area is kind of limited. I guess it does grow larger by charging. And then... Oh, it looks neat. Oh, and it does stay active for a moment. Okay. Yeah, not bad. Certainly, I can certainly see that being useful in certain situations. But for now, I'm going to go with laser and blade, I guess. Alright, and uh, yeah. Now, to actually do something. This is definitely not the most efficient use of my time. Not the most efficient route I'm taking here. But while I'm in the area, and there are two things I can do here, I might as well. Did you give my gift to the Master Jean-Paul? I must know what he said. Well, he said it was a mere trifle. Such insight, such truth. He sees to the core of things in a way others cannot. I shall follow you for the rest of my days, Master Jean-Paul. That's a long time. <laughs> that is a long time, but uh, it's obviously none of our business. Okay, this is the location of the photograph. Hold on. There we go. This is one of the places in that resistance member's photographs. Uh huh. Better record the coordinates. Quite pretty. Okay. Nice. And I think that's all we have to do here. I could head over to this guy and give him more money. Oh, actually, I, I completely forgot to sell all those fishes I have. I, well, I guess I can do that in the in the village. But we'll have to return there after uh, doing something after returning. After going to the desert, to uh, well, that is, we we don't really know, do we, what's going to happen once we report it back to all of Jean Paul's uh, fans. Hmm. I mean, I, I expect that we're that we'll have to return to the village and talk to Jean Paul once more. So, I guess I'm going to head straight back out to the desert, uh, to the city area, and then over to the desert. To, to take care of things here. And to be honest, I should probably uh, pause recording and make my way all the way there. I'm going to skip uh, trying Father Servo again, because I feel like we haven't really made enough progress in the meantime since since the last time we, we attempted fighting him uh, to really make a huge difference. I gained a couple of levels, like but only, only a handful, and no new weapons, so... If you, I feel like uh, it's still going to be pretty pretty similar to last time, so I'm going to uh, just skip him for now. Anyway, um, without further ado, I'm going to pause and meet you over in the desert. 
All right, we're back in the desert. I'm riding a uh, an elk, as you can see. Whoa, okay. That's right. Uh, freezes here while loading new areas. That's okay. This is the guy that we are supposed to fight for uh, the pristine, pristine screw. Did not need to target those guys. Uh, actually, that's a Bananar. Furry friend here. No need to involve him in what we're doing here. Uh, honestly, not even a reason to involve these guys, but they're a little bit distracting. Okay, he's completely uh, armored. Okay. But he's also uh, pretty low level. Considered. Okay. And we get the screw? Yes. Very good. We can use this screw to repair that big machine. Yeah. That ought to be interesting, honestly. Looking forward to talking to that guy and, well, seeing if he's still hostile or if he ever was hostile to begin with. Who knows? I mean, for all we know. That guy, just like the other machines, or many other machines that we've been fighting, um, never wanted to fight us in the first place, but has been pretty much forced to by by his command. Wait, what is this? Do I know about this? I must know about this, right? Yeah, obviously. Okay, the other thing that I'm supposed to get here... What was that? Oh. Right, this is an access to the underground area, which might be exactly what I'm looking for, honestly. Uh, what, what was this again? Resistance Disappearance. Um, right, photographs, yep. A woman at the Resistance Camp claims that one of her friends is missing, right? And they were not at the material storage, but we saw a set of coordinates there, scratched into a... Uh, into some metal piece. Okay. And it looks... Okay. Uh, from from the map, it looks like that is actually underground somewhere. So, presumably somewhere in this system of caves. Oh, I not realize that. Ow. Well, this perspective certainly makes it harder than normal to see when exactly attacks are happening and to dodge them. Good thing none of the enemies I'm fighting on any of these missions are really high enough level to be any kind of threat, thanks to my uh, being very overleveled. Also, God, I have no idea where I am. This is where I first entered. Uh, so I need to be on the exact opposite side, right? So with the camera resetting to some other orientation, it's a little bit hard to keep track of where, where I am. Okay, so I think the the map... Oh, actually, I don't know. We'll see. I need to basically keep going in that direction. So, yeah. To the north... Uh, northwest on the map. I think. Like this. Okay. Good love, hey, twenty four. All right. So, am I getting closer at all? No, <laughs> as it turns out. Okay. How did I get turned around? Oh, I... Well, I guess I just did. Okay, so it's basically down here somewhere. If it's down here anywhere. I guess we'll know soon enough. Looking only at the minimap here. Hmm, there's a... 
I have been wondering about this little, uh, little bit uh, on the map here, on the mini-map. But I think that's actually just a glitch or something. Okay, this might actually be where we want to be. Where we need to go. Uh, no. It's not. However... However... Hold on. Could this be? Oh, wait. I have been here. But, um... I think this might be the mysterious spot on the map that so if we me. use those numbers from the resistance camp as coordinates, huh? yeah, we're pretty much standing right on top of whatever they're pointing to. Uh, not not yet, not yet. I didn't expect this to be the place where we needed to go for that. Hmm. But this is definitely this uh, this little chasm that I had seen on the map and wondered about. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, on this, actually, this is just a, a place you can go to. It's not a mysterious. It's not mysterious at all. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I never climbed up here from where those chests were. So this might still be kind of interesting. Maybe not though. There doesn't really seem to be anything other than just a way back to the main desert area. Oh, well, there is an item. Just some gold though. I'm not intended to climb up any further from here. There's that rock that we can, can definitely easily get to. Huh. Okay. Just a way back out. Nothing special at all. Oh, pretty sure there weren't any hostile machines though. Also, these are actually pretty high level. Higher level than I am, anyway. But, honestly, um, enemy level is really less of an indicator um, of how strong they are going to be in uh, relative to you, rather than maybe relative to other similar enemies. So obviously, we've been slaughtering very high level enemies, albeit rather slowly and carefully um, at a pretty low level already pretty early on in the game right there's even a connection from the other side which I forgot about uh, Laresh hmm, is it just me or have I not been seeing all that many bodies lying around recently for a while, there were like bodies everywhere, every two meters. Seemingly. Nine S. Kill. 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 Oh. Kill. Kill. Thirty-five, huh? Pretty, pretty tanky. Get it. Hmm. I feel like my combat strategy is pretty limited here in what I can do. It just has a ton of hit points. And or I just don't deal enough damage. See him. Okay. I think I dodged. That was more luck than anything else. Huh. There we go. Analyze this machine. Huh? What for? Call it professional curiosity. Analysis. This machine life forms comrades were destroyed. Yes. Driven by that grudge, it lured a resistance member to this location. Wow. It then proceeded to destroy him. Are you saying this thing wanted revenge? Oh, come on now. That concept is far too complex for a machine. Come on now, Nia S. Don't pretend we like we haven't seen much more complex behavior at this point. Critical up plus two. Thank you, I guess. Well, they're pretty dead. This corpse. 
I wonder if it's the resistance member we're looking for. I mean... Let's check his memory. Seems this one came here looking for revenge as well. I guess the weaker one lost. <sighs> well, that machine was pretty strong. Memory chip and man's journal. Well, I guess that's that mystery solved. Uh, although we don't know what he wanted revenge for in the first place. Archives? Nope. Oh, huh. wait. Items? Uh, key items? Man's journal. A journal left behind by a man. Thoughts about his fallen comrades are spelled out within. Okay. Interesting that that's not a document that you can actually read. The bloody memory chip of a machine life form says its allies were destroyed by the resistance. Oh. Okay. I see. Um, weird how we got the memory chip basically from the the man's body, but whatever. I guess now we have yeah. the, the testimonies of, of both I really uh, hate this. People involved. I'm going to feel terrible telling that woman what happened to her friend. It's the truth. She has to know. No matter what that truth actually is? <laughs> well, yes. Obviously, I mean... What's the alternative? Not telling her and saying, <laughs> well... We don't know what happened to him. He might still be alive. Maybe he just ran away. Is that any better? Constant uncertainty? I don't think so. Well, anyway, um, I don't suppose my my elk is still anywhere nearby. Well, I guess it's worth checking. Probably not, though. I had to guess the area probably got reset uh, at some point when we were underground. Is this where we fought the big guy? Uh, yes. Somewhere around here, I think. Maybe over here? Yeah. Well, honestly, having a, having an animal to ride would be pretty helpful in the large desert area, but eh, oh well. I should probably also uh, pause recording again, because it's a bit of a walk. Right, we want to go to the oil field for the photograph. I guess I could use that opportunity. Wait, is not is it not the oil field? Oh no, never mind, it's not the oil field, but... Oh, mysterious letter. Ah, right. That's one of the, those weird coordinates from the from the mail that we got, the email. This is the uh, hidden oasis. That's what the photograph points to. But uh, still, I want to, I wanted to fish a bit more, both in in the oil field and the, uh, the oasis area. I just didn't want to run all the way over there and then run all the way back to resume my next recording. But I guess I could use this opportunity to do that. Hmm. Is there... Yes, there is an item. Do I need to pick up every single bit of junk? Not really. Well, I don't know. I guess I'm gonna... I'm gonna pause. Because... It, it'll take a moment to uh, reach any of those points of interest. So I'll see you there in a moment. Okay. So I've been uh, fishing here for... Like, I don't know, 15 minutes maybe? Maybe not even that. Well, 10 to 15 minutes. And uh, I guess I just never actually fished here before. Maybe only very briefly. I think maybe I I, uh, I caught the... Whatchamacallit? The Bream Machine or whatever it was called. But uh, yeah, I, I basically... I basically uh, caught nothing but new things. Oil sardine. That's the latest one. I was... Uh, at some point I decided to go for... To, to stop... Um, as soon as I get one uh, one more new catch. And uh, I got lucky, I guess, and got what is probably the rare catch for this fishing spot. An unusual fish that lives in waste oil. Hmm, interesting. The sheer amount of sludge uh, coating its body makes it difficult to know what it actually looks like. Yeah, it's also... If th this is actually a, a, a live fish, then it's the only live fish that you can catch here at all. Uh, which I guess makes sense if this pool is mostly oil or exclusively oil. Um, but yeah, bloatfish machine. Uh, machine life form resembling a bloatfish. The part of its body that would function as an air bladder in regular bloatfish contains various minerals, so it can be sold for a decent price in the market. Yeah, I only caught a single one of these. Uh, I did start out catching like three of these bloatfish machines in a row, and then um, 
and then not a single one after that, so yeah, weird. A machine life form resembling a blowfish. Contrary to a real blowfish, it, this creature is not poisonous. Uh, though its highly developed jaw is capable of tearing holes in an android's body, so approach with caution. Starfish machine. Caught a couple of those. A machine life form resembling a starfish. Its mobility is roughly the same as a regular starfish, so <laughs> not too great. Uh, so it's hard to imagine this creature was designed to have an impact on aquatic life. To this day, researchers have no not reached a consensus on why it exists. The machine version specifically, or a regular starfish? Hmm. Bream machine, yeah, this is... I think I might have fished like once or twice here and gotten one of these, and maybe a, maybe a, a carp machine. I've, I caught a single carp machine here as well. Pretty late into into my, into my this fishing session, I uh, caught the first mackerel machine, and then I caught two more after that, so weird. Uh, there might be some kind of cyc cyclical uh, catch catching chances, I don't know. Um, for each fishing spot, or maybe it's just purely random and, well, just, you know, a quirk of the RNG. A machine life form resembling a mackerel, like the regular mackerel, it has negative effects on androids when consumed. What? Why do n regular mackerels have negative effects when consumed? Fortunately, it only makes their bodies uh, itch all over, so things certainly could have been worse. Huh. Weird. Yeah, so that's what I caught here. This one, of course, being the the strange one, and hopefully the expensive one, too. Um, also, conveniently, a pig hangs out here. Also, I guess I might as well quick save, which I haven't done all episode. Man, I really hope um, the recording went alright, or else I'm gonna be pretty, pretty sad. But let's just assume that everything's alright for the time being. I, uh, it's not the button to press to jump. Not sure what I was thinking. Okay, friend, please let me mount again. No, not not I, my ass. There we go. Yeah, the normal jump button works just fine. Not sure why I thought pressing A would work. <sighs> Silly me. All right, let's head on over to uh, I think the first of these uh, coordinates from the the strange letter, right? Right, the, uh, it's a set of three. This is... Oh, hello. I've missed this before. I guess there must be... There might be uh, a number of chests all over the desert that I happened to miss. I just didn't happen to run into, I should say. Okay, yeah, that's over where that that weird door is. Oh, I wonder if all these coordinates are going to point to to doors, or is this? No, I think it is. There's a fire burning that definitely wasn't burning here before. Uh, it's not a fire burning. It's actually a machine creature. Please be friendly. Mask machine. Come, you here to challenge the trials? Um. Oh, you know what? Oh, this might be the DLC. Uh, trials. I, I know that the DLC adds combat arenas that are that also have a story going on. So this might actually be it. And I only installed the DLC after after I started the, the Let's Play, I think. So it makes sense that that um, mail just randomly popped up, giving me these coordinates, pointing to the arenas. That... Uh, in retrospect, it seems to make a lot of sense. Uh, that being said, I'm not sure I really want to to do this now, uh, with only about 15 minutes left in the episode. Maybe I should rather try to do try to get some more things done bef uh, before I tackle this. Because, well, I have, I have no idea how long this is going to take, how involved these these combat trials are going to be. But uh, also, where's my piggy friend? Yeah, but, uh, I mean, presumably it's going to take a bit longer than the time I I have left now, so... I'm going to save that for some other time. Assuming I'm right in the first place and this really is the DLC. I mean, either way, it's some kind of trial, so... I'm going to keep that in mind. I mean, I don't need to keep it in mind, of course, because it's marked on the map, so... That's convenient enough. Oh, you don't have the map here. That sucks a little bit. Let's see if I can find the the path. 
might actually be actually be the right place. Get wrecked, guys. Yeah, this looks good. Surprised I found this so quickly, but then again, it's not that hard to find. Excuse me? No, pig. Why? You know what? I uh, kind of do want to keep you around because I'll also have to get out of here after I'm done confirming the photograph, so I really hope he just threw me off because I ran into the, the ruin and not because he reached... No, he reached some kind of invisible barrier. That's unfortunate. <sighs> oh well. Yeah, yeah, Sandstorm. You get it. You can't fool me. This place looks familiar. Oh, well, right. we've been here before. It's from that woman's photograph. I'll be that sure too. to get her the coordinates. All right. Hello. Hello. A flock of birds came to rest their wings here. I wonder if they instinctively knew how to escape the storm. It seems like time moves slowly here. More slowly. If you've got nothing to do, why don't you try fishing? Everyone loves settling down for a round by the pond. Well, I sure do. Right. I mean, I guess I'm going to do that while I'm here, uh, but I'm going to pause recording again. I guess it makes sense because uh, I'm also going to have to probably make my way all the way across the desert and over to uh, the desert dwelling area to deal with these last two uh, quests over there. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna pause recording here, do some more fishing, hopefully find something good. Although I did catch the uh, the weird bug fish here, the insect fish, I forget what it's called. So um, that seems to be the one rare catch for this location, but there might be something else I missed. I'm gonna give it a couple of a couple of attempts just to see if there's anything new. Uh, and yeah, anyway, I'm gonna gonna pause recording and see you over in the desert dwelling. Okay, we're over here, and apparently something is supposed to be here. Wait, no, this is just a chest, though. Oh, up here. That is um, the guy who pretended to be a resistance member looking for those data chips. But we learned later that he's actually with Yorha, and apparently also a kind of deserter. You're the guys who got those chips back for me, right? Boy, do I ever owe you one. Uh, I suppose you noticed those chips were Yorha, huh? Yes. Well, there's a reason for that. Let me introduce you to the new addition to my family. Namely? Oh. A, uh, an S-unit. Your family? I always wanted family, you know. Or at least, I was pretty sure I did. Seeing all the machines living together in the same area was starting to make me lonely. So I went out and stole a broken down Yorha body. I'm hoping I can repair it and use it to kick off my very own family. Uh, hello? Unbelievable. I know it isn't right, but I don't care. I need someone I can live with. Someone I can protect. You won't tell anyone, will you? B -b please What is he... What is the, the S unit begging for? I hope he's not suffering and asking us to end his miserable zombie-like uh, existence or something. You won't tell anyone, uh, tell anyone, will you? I mean, I'm not planning to. If your S-type without a name is okay with it. Huh, okay. Guess we're gonna have some conversation between 9S and 2B, perhaps? No? Huh. Is the quest actually done, or...? What? Um, judging from the data... Uh, both tricked the other into coming here in order to exact revenge. Okay. Photographs, confidential intel... Hmm. 
repairing broken Yorha models and turning them into his new family. Well, we know we only know about one specifically, but hmm. I guess we don't have a new quest marker as of now. Except, no, that's uh, the machine guy. Photographs. Go on. Resistance disappearance. Yep. Mysterious letter. Wandering couple. This is the the guy with the parade. The inventor, and that's the other bit of coordinates there. And this is the last photograph. Huh. Well, I don't see another quest marker, but apparently the quest is still active, so who knows? Maybe I'm just... Maybe I just have to move a bit further away to trigger the next conversation. Typically, 9S and 2B are going to comment that kind of situation. No? Well, we'll see. Definitely something is going to happen at some point. Maybe we'll be contacted by command and then we'll be forced to decide one way or the other whether we want to give him away or not. Obviously, my decision should be pretty pretty clear um, that I'm not going to give him away. Hey, guys. Lady. Um, please stop sliding. You there, delivery boy. Pray tell... Uh, pray tell what Master Jean-Paul thought of my present. He called it a useless piece of junk. Such cruelty. I have barely the words for it. When I think about his wanton sadism, it makes me... Ooh. What does it make you? Who knows? You seem quite friendly with Master Jean-Paul. Yeah, whatever. Okay, that's it, huh? And now we're supposed to return to him? Presumably? Let's see... Uh, yes. Yes, indeed. Hmm. Okay, well... Unfortunately, I'll have to trek all the way back. Hmm, that being said, while I'm here, I'm definitely going to pick up another one of those, um, hopefully, uh, offensive heal chips. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to make my way back out of the desert again, of course. I guess over to the forest village to turn in the quest there and talk to the inventor and sell a lot of fish. Oh, actually, speaking of fish, uh -huh, of course, I was doing some uh, oasis fishing. And unfortunately, I caught almost exclusively uh, killi killifish uh, or killifish machines, but I also caught this arowana, which was new. I could have sworn I had something similar, but maybe I was just thinking of the of this arapaima. Sim a similar name too. An ancient freshwater fish. Though it lacks any real purpose it purpose. It was quite popular with some humans for some reason. For food, maybe? I I have no idea what an arowana is or was. Um pretty sure it's an actual fish that exists, but whether it's one that people eat, I mean I guess every fish every kind of fish is eaten by someone somewhere. Hmm. Of course, since I caught one of those there. Chances are there's an, a machine version of it too. Although maybe I've, maybe that's what I caught. No, I guess not. So yeah, that that might be something else. But I didn't want to spend too much more time in that area. Oh, also I've been giving these these weapons here a swing, and it, as it turns out, this uh, the spear actually does have the the blue highlights, if a little bit less pronounced. So. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe the appearance does not change at highest level. Although that would still be a cool thing. Yeah, I, I mean, handling-wise or move set wise it's exactly the same as the other weapons in the same category. Same for the, for the pipe. Uh, the damage for the spear is actually not that great because it's, well, not upgraded, of course, but uh, the pipe is interesting because it has a, um, as you can see, a very high uh, max damage but very, very low um, minimum damage. So, yeah... Overall, not that great. Combos isn't, uh, the combo length isn't great either for level 3, so I guess, as expected, it's just not a great weapon. Um, yeah, the Heavy Lance has a very consistent damage, if nothing else, but of course it is also only level 1, so... I'm um, looking forward to, to maybe using that a bit more once, um, once it's more upgraded. Actually, while I'm here, and, you know, since the... 
the pipe expectedly it just isn't great. Maybe it's gonna turn into the best weapon in the game uh, at max level, but right now it's not. Yeah. This looks cool. I like it. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what's what's up with a weird face or a mask that it's that it has going there. Almost looks like, actually, it looks exactly like uh, like a traditional. Is that no theater? No theater? Uh, Japanese theater mask? Oh, are those different? Uh, hard to tell. I think the one on the other side is actually looking angry. Yeah, definitely. That one's looking very angry. This one's looking more neutral than happy, though. Hmm. Weird. Well, anyway, um, I'm gonna pause and I guess, I guess we're gonna turn in those last two quests, or at least the one quest with Jean-Paul, all the way over in the forest village. And, yeah. So I'm gonna pause and run over there and see you there in just a second. Alright, and we're back in the machine village. Oh, and Jean-Paul is not here. Yeah, where is he? Huh? Hello. Ball-like machine. Oh, hey, you again. If you're looking for Jean-Paul, you're too late. He set out on a journey. A journey, huh? Yes, he said he needed to go find himself, or something. Oh, but he left a letter for you, here. Interesting. Okay, and that apparently concludes the quest. Hmm, beast hide, XP gain up plus three. Alright. Some gold, some money. Well, he's nothing if not consistent. A weirdo right to the very end. I wonder if all his followers being female had something to do with his weirdness. <laughs> Did the human sexes interact with each other like this? Who knows? <laughs> I mean, well, they certainly do interact in various mysterious ways. Uh, let's see here. Intel? Archives? Nope. Really curious how that's only still only at 1%, and we only have ever found a single document that went there. Jean-Paul's letter. It reads, I've left to seek the truth of the world. Throw that trash away. Okay. That tells me absolutely nothing, but the quest is done. So, yay. Um, right. Still have some quests over there, but at least the, the desert is clear for now. Well, I'm still going to have to return there for the arena, or the trial as the game called it. But um, everything else pretty much is uh, concentrated over in this area, which is uh, nice, at least for the time being. So it looks like we're going to be uh, able to move on to the next uh, step in the main quest pretty soon. But before I call it an episode here, I'm going to go ahead and sell all these fish that I've been catching. That should give me a good amount of money. I cannot jump down here, that's right. One. There we go. Uh, shop. Tool shop. Not necessarily what I meant to do because obviously we still we don't really have anything useful to do here, but we can sell to him just as well. Uh, let's see here. Oh boy, so much fish. All right. Uh, also earrings, I guess. Our one for fifteen hundred. Killifish. Well, I mean, they do add up. So there's that. Some carps. Some koi carps. Much better. Oh, we're getting so rich. Oil sardine for 3,500. Not bad. Koi carp machines. Our pineal machine is nicely valuable. Carp machines for 20k. Sweet. 3k for this bloatfish. Alright, starfish for only 1,000. Mackerels for only 500. No love for mackerels. I do like real mackerels, personally, but um, I guess androids are allergic to them or something. Oh, that was uh, a ton of money. This might be the most money I've ever had at this at one time. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can't. Earthquake. Yeah, yeah. Um, pretty sure I. Oh. We can operate this, because now we have... I guess we were missing stretched coils. Hmm. 
Well, oh, and this took something else. Oh, Beast Hides, I guess. Yeah, I got five for a quest reward. Oh, interesting. Uh, yes, I guess I'm going to upgrade this then. Attack speed up. So that's the same bonus as with uh, Virtus Treaty and Virtus Contract. So presumably there's also going to be a Virtus something or other uh, fist weapon. If all the weapons follow follow those same patterns. Hmm. I mean, I'd rather upgrade this, but we're still missing the pearl, and we have plenty of the other ingredients, so might as well upgrade this here. Uh, next one is going to take more warp, warp wire and titanium alloys. All right. So technically, I could farm for those if I really wanted to. Um, the next upgrade actually is going to make this very powerful. Wow, 616 to 672 damage. It's really not bad at all. Well, for the time being, let's upgrade this. And this takes more titanium alloy and pyrite. I see. Okay. And discount. Wait. Robot discount, just normal discount. Hmm. Okay, in the forest. Hmm. Anyway, uh, oh, that guy, right? Uh, the f the the weapon smith master that he told us about. I think uh, Intel. Actually, weapons. Weapons. Uh, small swords. Your issue blade. Details. Oh, okay, and resistance shops. That makes sense. Hmm. Eh, I mean, money is so s of such little concern that equipping weapons specifically to get the, the discount seems completely unnecessary, honestly. Let's see here, though. Uh, morning listeners, right? How's it going, listeners? Yeah, I know. You're all still thinking about that cleanup operation yesterday, right? We may have lost a lot of good people, but it's still our job to get up and at them, right? Hmm. I suppose. Uh, spears. Virtuous Dignity. Nope. Story. The elegant white spear was crafted by a tyrant as a gift for his wife, that's right, uh-huh. Yes, and then she killed him with it. <laughs> running, running him through with it 30 times. The spear's second owner was a courageous bandit-fighting mayor in her later years, her strength faded, until one night a pack of young thugs surrounded her and took all that she had, including her life. Yikes. Man, many of these, if not most of these stories are rather dark. Not all of them, thankfully, but a good number of them are quite, quite dark. Well, okay, before I call this an episode, I'm gonna head on over to our friend, the not-so-friendly inventor, and invest a bit more in his his enterprise because obviously eventually this will have to pay off there's no way this is just a huge waste of money I'm almost sure I'm right uh-huh wait how much excuse me 40,000 wow it's uh, quite a lot but I do have a lot of money so uh-huh Let's give him 20,000. And of course that was enough to give us the next, possibly the next two or more things all at once. Eureka! I've done it! Feast eyes and senses alike upon my new invention! Dented plate and crushed nut. Really. Uh, sure. I wonder though, is it worth giving him money in smaller increments? So you give, so you get more things? Because that seemed too little. Only two items? I was expecting that maybe if you skip steps, basically, by giving him a bunch of money all at once, uh, you'd give you'd get the rewards for several tiers, I guess, combined. But maybe that's not how it works. Or maybe, at this point, he requires so much more money for the next step. Or is this just gambling, basically? Because... Uh, Early on, he, he did give us something, some rather valuable things in return. Obviously not nearly enough to make up for the huge investments we made. Okay, that was not enough. 65k? Uh-huh. Let's go up to 75k. Still not enough. 
Hmm. So I guess it, it, even though I gave him 20k, it probably uh, was only enough for one thing. Um, let's go for a nice even number. So 80k now. Oh, and that was enough. Eureka! And meteorite chart. Okay, and charge attack plus 3. Huh. At least some more unique items. Uh, might you be willing to loosen your purse strings and aid me with a meager sum of 100,000 gold? Wait, that's new. Are you certain? Uh, sure. Time for the foremost gi genius of his generation to perfect the greatest invention of the age. Right then, off to work. I just know I can make this happen. Well, you better deliver, my friend. One week later. This better be good. It is finally complete. The greatest invention of this or any generation. Or it was meant to be. Sadly, I have failed. Oh, you... It was meant to be a launch tower for sending rockets to the very moon itself. Uh, wait. Is that... Has that thing always been there in the background? And while the craft it launched did soar into the lofty darkness of outer space, it, regrettably, did not reach the moon. Instead, it landed on Mars. What? <laughs> wow, holy crap. It's also damnably frustrating. I'm the world's foremost genius, after all. Never before have I sipped the bitter brew of defeat. Holy crap. Okay, quest updated. So the quest is not done. He's a shop now. Well, well, well. So what does that mean? Quest is... No, wait. The quest is actually complete. So will we be able to actually reach that launch base and launch ourselves to Mars or something? Still, all is not lost. I'll gladly sell you some of the materials the rocket carried back from that red and desolate planet. Oh, okay. Bye. Meteor red shards. Alright, good to know. And alien mask. An accessory. A mask of an alien face. This is bizarre. Uh... Thankfully, I still have some money left. I guess I'm gonna buy... We have... How many of these do we have? One. I mean, I don't know that I need more of these for anything specifically. We probably do, but uh, I guess I'll just keep in mind that we can s that we can buy them here if we need them. Uh, right now, I'm a little bit low on cash, so I'm gonna hold on to that. Just in case. I look forward to a fruitful working relationship. Huh. Well, this uh, was... Certainly not what I expected. Wow. Um, items. Key items? Alien mask. Sure, I mean, I kind of have to, don't I? Um, where can I take a better look at her? I guess I'll have to go this way. And, yeah, this should do nicely. Oh, my God. Uh, well, that's a... That's a thing. <laughs> it's a, Hmm. Too bad I can't... Uh, can't make 9S put something on. Because I'm pretty sure I still prefer the pink ribbon. Although this is a close second for sure. Yeah. Yeah, no. No, no, no. I'll have to go with the ribbon. It's a tough choice, though. Yeah, uh, that's slightly better. Slightly better. Okay. Well, that was an interesting one. Um, I guess we'll return to the Resistance base to probably finish two more quests next time. Uh, maybe I'll attempt the the dojo after all. Maybe I'll attempt the parade escort as well. But... Um, Oh, right, and then there's the machine. Ah, of course. Wow, that's that's actually the most exciting one. Potentially. I'm definitely going to uh, see if we can repair that guy. Although it is uh, it is called Machine Examination 1, so possibly the first item is not going to be enough and we'll have to do more. If so, then we'll see if if I can and and want to deal with that right away. Or maybe... I'm, I'm definitely curious to uh, dive down there and continue with the main story and, well, you know see where the game itself is going to go. But uh, for the time being, I'm going to call it an episode. As always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.